What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ford Era. You guys got me here today, Solomon, and uh, you're probably not familiar with where I'm at, but this is my buddy John's house. And uh, he is just like me, a Ford truck collector. And uh, a few months back, I actually bought a 79 Bronco and uh, it's over in California. And I didn't really talk much about it and I've just been doing some little stuff to it. And then uh, John was talking to me and he's like, hey, I'm looking for a Bronco. So I sent him a picture of that one and the other one. And we ended up working out a trade deal. And uh, this truck he's just been holding for a little while. So this is a 1976 Ford F350 crew cab. And uh, it's a custom. It's got some dealer added striping. This was 76, so it was the bicentennial year. So a lot of the dealerships were ordering blue trucks and doing like red, white, and blue theme or, you know, blue and white, stuff like that. But this truck is super clean, uh, all original paint, all original everything, and uh, very rust free. Just a really clean truck. Air conditioning, not sure if it works or not, but the truck does work. Seats are in good condition. Overall, a really nice truck and uh, I haven't had space at the shop to bring this home because it's such a big truck. It's a long bed and a crew. So I finally have a little bit of space and uh, we're gonna bring her home today and figure out how to introduce her to the channel. So uh, here we go. Chuck was originally from Dub Richardson in Oklahoma City. I like that bumper. And then uh, we even have the original wheels and tires that the truck came with. And uh, yeah. So right now I am waiting on my buddy Chase, who's actually gonna tow this down for us. We're about, I think 90 miles north. So uh, he'll be here soon. We're gonna get this thing pulled out and then I will walk around it some more and show it to you. All right guys, now let's do a little walk around. As you guys can hear, run and drives nice. It's got a good little sound to it. And then I mean, just look at how nice and solid this truck is. All the chrome's in good shape. Truck's super straight. Doesn't have rust like they all do. Apparently the fuel got rid of the patina. Gonna miss the old girl? Yeah. <laughs> haven't introduced you guys but this is John uh, yeah. you'll probably be seeing him a lot because he's finally getting his truck yeah he's moving around up. yeah yeah so heck yeah dude this thing looks so much better I've never, I haven't seen it in the light in such a long time well, we're gonna hang out a little bit wait for Chase and then uh, we'll see you then all right guys so my buddy Chase just got here and uh, John is driving her up onto the trailer Good thing it's not any longer or else it wouldn't have fit on the trailer. So uh, now we're gonna get her down to the shop. She's all strapped down, loaded up, and uh, Chase is out of here. Right, guys so we just made it back over here to the shop and uh we got the truck on strap and now chase is going to back her off
I'm gonna go take her for a little drive, try to get a little bit acquainted with it, maybe go see if Simmy's at his shop and uh, bring you guys along. All right guys, so first drive, truck feels great. It's nice and smooth. Let's go to Simmy's shop, see if he's over there. in a far drive but here we go we made it and you guys get to see Simi's shop and you get to see a little bit of stuff that they're doing to Simi's truck what up what's going on he'll probably miss you since you're not at the shop all day you do look comfy let's think you made it yeah oh he's got Where's your other car no, I just unloaded it and then... Oh, you didn't actually drive it here? No, oh, I just drove me. it from my shop here. Me? I thought you just <laughs> rolled it hot. I was like, yes, you did it. No, uh, if you would have came with me, I would have drove I it home. It huh? I had to record it. Yeah. Where's your truck? What's up? What you doing over here? Sanding. Getting your truck buffed, huh? Yeah, we're getting a little paint correction done over here. A little color sanding. A little... So you saw that little dent side and you're like, all right, I know yeah. what I need to do. Yep. Hell yeah. So what are you doing in here? Everybody, let everybody know. Um, you're moving up in the world. Starting a business. I know. are the bad ones for GoPros. Look. That means that we can't film good videos in here. Yeah. And, anyway, pretty loud. We're gonna hang out a little bit and then I'll pick you guys back up when I drive this thing a little more. Well, always when you get new toys, you gotta share them with your friends. So uh, we'll go for a little cruise. What do you think so far? I'm just enjoying the nostalgia first. It's about as big as a boat. Yeah, the mirrors are way too small. Yeah. Is it got a cabinet or what? I don't know. Don't get too comfy. Me? Yeah, we know you want a good dead side crew cab. This thing's tight. Go to the typical spot. This thing feels really good. We should probably say hi to the, uh, to the what's it called. See if it's even there still. If anybody is curious, our neighbor is super nice and lets us store the race trailer. I need to probably, maybe tomorrow we should take that thing out and like, just make a video showing it off. We bought it, parked it, and never looked at it again. It's been like, what, a month? over to our favorite take some pictures spot right next to the shop it's just cool looks nice we got the train tracks we got some trees and it just looks nice and what's cool about it is it's quiet you never have stuff going by because it's a dead end so uh i'm gonna make some pretty b-roll enjoy all right now back to the shop i thought we were gonna get good b-roll guess who forgot to bring the batteries for the drone me 
so we'll have to do that another time. But at least we'll get to drive it a little bit more and have some more fun. Alright guys, so we just made it back over here to Simi's shop and uh, figured we might as well just end this now because I don't know how long the rest is going to be hanging out. So as always, if you guys enjoy this type of content, make sure to subscribe. If you can, also smash the like button, it helps me out. And uh, let me know in the comment section below, what do you think we should do to this thing? I'm thinking Super Duty axles and 37s and some Detroits, um, similar to like Goldust. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I really like this thing. It's super solid and just has a really cool look and vibe to it. Also, let me know what you guys think we should name it. I haven't came up with any good ideas yet. So uh, that's that and we'll see you in the next video.